In today's video, I'm going to be showing you two simple ways of cleaning up your audio or removing white noise uh, from your audio using a software called Adobe Audition. So this could be when you're editing your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro and then you realize maybe there was a fan running in the background or, you know, there was a refrigerator running and there was, you know, just a humming sound in the background. You can easily remove this using a software called Adobe Audition. If you're here for the first time, my name is Z and I love making videos. I love doing tutorials and tips on how I shoot my videos from the gear that I use to the software that I use. So if that's your kind of thing, please do consider subscribing. If you have been here before, hey, welcome back. So my assumption in this video is that you'd be editing your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, this could be for your YouTube. I don't know uh, what for, but then you realize that, oh, there is noise in the background. There's a fan, there's something just creating white noise in the background. The cool thing is that Adobe Audition and Adobe Premiere Pro are both Adobe products and they work together seamlessly. A point to note, of course, you do have to install Adobe Audition. <laughs> of course, I recorded this for illustration purposes um, and I had a white noise generator in the background. So if I play back, it's actually not too bad, but you can hear the noise. Mmm, Angarma one. All I heard was Ukuluseki Nikuba. I was like, what? So, I mean, you can hear me, but if you hear this, that, that is white noise. So, we can remove that easily in Adobe Audition. So, this is inside Adobe Premiere Pro. You right click on your clip and you go to Edit Clip in Adobe Audition and it will automatically open Adobe Audition. So ideally, this is the display that you get. You've got your you know, waveform here in green and then your spectral view here, sort of like a heat signature of you know, the different frequencies um, over time. Uh, this may be, if you've never really opened this software, it may be intimidating, but um, it's actually not that, uh, what we'll be doing today is actually not that complicated. So the first way of doing this is very simple. You just click on your timeline, uh, command A on Mac, uh, control A on Windows, and then it will select all your, uh, your entire audio file. And then you go to effects and then go under noise reduction or restoration. And then you go to denoise. It's important to note that this is an option that was introduced recently in Adobe Audition, I think about a year or two ago. So if you've got older um, Adobe Audition versions, you won't have this particular option. That's a point to note, but it's actually an amazing option because it's it works wonders. So if I open it up, if I click on it, it opens this, uh, this window. And then if I put it back to zero and then I play back using uh, spacebar. Mm. one. All I heard was Ukuluseki Nikuba. I was like, what? So of course nothing has changed, but now I'm gonna slide the uh, amount of denoise uh, that uh, this software is applying and you'll hear the difference. Mm. All I heard was Ukuluseki Nikuba. I was like, what? Mm. All I heard was so you can hear the difference already like that noise has, has just almost disappeared there's just a little bit left but it's almost gone it's now really clean you know so I can toggle the power button for um, this effect on and off for you to hear what it's sounding like when it's off and when it's on with and without uh, the the denoise effect what so this is on. Mm. one. Off. All I heard was Ukuluseki Nikuba. On. It's like, what? Mm. Off. Angarma one. All I heard was So it's it's such an amazing uh tool because it's just as simple as that. You click on an effect and that's it. So of course it depends with your audio file and how noisy it is. You just want to make sure that you push this slider as far as possible without deteriorating your audio file. So I think mine can go as, as high as 100% without me feeling like it's actually bad, but I'll settle for 70%. Uh, so once you're done, you just click apply 
uh, and you'll see the difference here on the spectral view um, that it's removed a lot of um, information there which was uh, mostly noise um, and you know now it's a bit cleaner so i'm gonna undo this command z of course controls it um, and i'm gonna show you the second way second way is slightly longer but it's also fairly easy what you want to do is you want to tell the system what is noise and then allow it to then go find that noise and remove it in the entire clip so we do that by capturing noise you want to find a part in your clip where you are not talking and it's just the noise that's there so for me it's of course in the beginning here so you can just click and drag and then highlight that noise if we play it back that's just noise and once you've highlighted that area you go again under effects noise reduction and restoration and then click on capture noise print so it'll act like it did like a screenshot thing that your phone does like you know and then once you've captured your noise print you click again on your timeline command a control a um, on windows and then you go to this time around we'll go to noise reduction process and then it'll open up this window uh, this one of course has a bit more options a bit more sliders but you want to be focused on these two the noise reduction and reduce by um, sliders so i'm going to take mine down so that i can push them up as i play back the audio so here's how it sounds right now mm. all i heard was i was like what Mm. All I heard was, like, So again, it's removed a lot of that noise already, and it's a bit different uh, from the other one, but they, they both really do um, a great job. So you just have to choose which one is doing um, a better job with your particular audio. So if I play it back and I toggle again on and off um, this effect, you'll hear the difference. <laughs> Mm. On Angar Ma One. All I heard was Ukuluse Kinikuba. Off. I was like, what? Angar Ma One. On. All I heard was Ukuluse Kinikuba. Off. I was like, what? So when you're happy, you can click apply and then again it will remove most of that noise but for this particular one i really liked the first effect so i'm gonna just use that one and apply that and once you've applied your your effect all you simply have to do is click save uh, command s on your mac uh, control s on your windows and you go back to premiere pro and then it will automatically replace your audio there so now when you play it back here mm. it doesn't have that noise anymore. Ma one. all i heard was Ukuluse I was like, what? so of course it didn't remove all the noise but you know it removed a significant amount of it and it just makes your audio way better but yeah i hope this video helps you out if it did give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you haven't subscribed do consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you don't miss anything that I post. I just want to quickly give uh, people shout outs for guessing correctly what I was going to post next on my Instagram. Uh, if you don't follow me already, please do consider following. Uh, but shout out to the following people for guessing correctly. Uh, first is Laone Mokosi. Mokosi. I hope I pronounced that correctly, especially the surname. Don't kill me, but you got that correctly. She's actually a content creator herself, so please check out uh, her um, Instagram and YouTube. Then Musa Buonali is also another content creator. She's got some awesome content as well. Check out her Instagram and YouTube. Neale, mm, follow. You got it correct. Samugeli Siwe, really got it correct. Tafadza got it correct. If I left out anyone, please don't shoot me, but shout out to you guys. Uh, you evidently were working in spirit. Yeah.